case, maybe you don't know, somebody I ran into a guy today who realized that it's uh, this primary uh, is just one primary. It's not separated into Democratic and Republican parties. First time in the governor's race this has happened. Everybody's, everybody's on the same ballot. The top two go on in November. So uh, theoretically, uh, both Tim Donnelly and Neil Kashgari could be one and two and end up meeting each other again in November. But odds are Jerry Brown's going to get in there, and uh, odds are one of these two men will fight him uh, in November. And so that's yeah, the debating. Yeah. So let's continue. Yeah, and that's a perfect segue to my question, which we'll, we'll start with Tim. I mean, I'm serious about this. I want to beat Jerry Brown. But this is not 2003. Ray Davis is not governor. We don't have the same deficit problem we had then, and we all the problem with the electricity crisis. Everything went on. We got Schwarzenegger all his money. You know where I'm going. Tim, if you do finish second, and I'm amazed and I'm very I'm glad that you did finish second in a lot of polls right now. You're showing up second. I think that's great. And you're the candidate against uh, Jerry Brown. My question is, how do you beat him? How are you going to get over people that are not your staunch Republican conservatives and they call them Tea Party supporters? You've got to go beyond that. What are you going to do? Well, absolutely. Look, here, here's the deal. We have over 50 locations right now where people are walking door to door. We've got over 1,000 people in this state that are going to help me walk California. Well, you know what? I, after the primary, should I advance, and I believe that I will, I am not going to be walking just to Republican doors. I'm walking into communities that Republicans haven't been to in years. And you know what? Jerry Brown is not going to show up. He doesn't feel like he has to. And I don't think he understands what can happen when you're so arrogant, when you look at what he has done to this state and the way it has affected people, he took us from first to last yeah. in the last 40 years in everything that matters. We were first in education, and now we're circling the drain and competing with Alabama and Mississippi and losing. You know what? That matters to people. And we need common sense education reform, not common core. Yeah. the Republican, will you become the number one or number two candidate representing the Republican Party? Uh, both of you have name recognition problems. How are you going to expand beyond that 28% Republican base that you talked about in your opening statement? 1992, Bill, excuse me, George Herbert Walker Bush had a 90% approval rating coming out of the Gulf War. No Democrat, credible Democrat, dare challenge him. Just this little known governor from this little known state of Arkansas named Bill Clinton. You remember what Bill Clinton said? He said, it's the economy, stupid. And he focused like a laser on the struggles of middle class families in America in 1992. And what did he do? He unfortunately went and beat them. Well, the middle class of California has been destroyed over the past 30 or 40 years. My entire campaign, my entire campaign is about rebuilding the middle class through a good education and a good job. And I'm gonna focus like a laser. because there was a headline the other day that uh, an abysmally low percentage of California students are proficient in math and reading. And uh, we spend more money than we ever have. Most of it goes to uh, teachers, administrators, and staff. That's 75, 80 percent of the budget in every school district. It's for their salaries, their pensions, their health care. It doesn't go to the kids. It goes to the teachers and the administrators. That's where it goes. And they're, they're making good money. The teachers are usually number two or number one in the country. Um, so when you talk about this, giving them limited powers of government, how do you change it? Because the kids clearly are not learning. They're not performing well when it, when, by any metric. And, and, and you've got the teachers union buying every, you know, every charlatan off in Sacramento. So what are you going to do when you sit there? So I have a very specific education plan that's focused on putting the power and the money that we spend in the hands of our parents to let them decide how we educate our kids. You know what, I want to let our schools bring vocational training back into the school. Yeah. Not every kid is going to go to college. The kids that don't, they matter too. Let's bring welding back. Let's bring machine shop yeah. class back. And let the parents decide how to do it. We need, here's the thing, we need legislation, but if the legislature blocks us, the governor of California has extraordinary power if he has the courage to use it. The governor has a line out of veto. 
The President of the United States does not have that. Yes. The governor has the ability to go right to you, the voters, with a ballot measure and overrule the legislature. The President of the United States does not have that. I will use every power of my office to reach the voters, to make the changes, to make sure no child goes with a bad education the way Get rid of AB 32! zip code shouldn't determine your future. And we have millions of kids trapped in family school. We need to have school choice. And you know what? There was a study that just came out that said that California has the most segregated schools in the country. Well, that's a shame because education is the absolute key to success. But Jerry Brown and the teachers union have knocked out the bottom three rungs of that ladder. And the way we fix it is real simple. We need to start by respecting teachers. We've got teachers that are in a system that's designed to fail. We need to come up with a fair way to evaluate teachers. That way we can pay the good teachers more. We can get the great teachers to travel around the state teaching their teaching methods to all the other teachers, just like we do in the business world. And then, if the teachers have bought into this fair way of evaluating them, we'll have a fair way to get rid of the teachers who never should have spent a single moment in a classroom with our kids so we can put the students first instead of the union. With the Aeros Hotel in Anaheim on Catella, we have Tim Donnelly, Sam Newman, taking on Neil Kashkari of this debate. Neil Kashkari! Sheriff Bill Gore says nearly 13,000 more people in San Marcos have been told to leave their home.